All right, Moto Maddox here, back for another episode. One thing you may notice is that uh, have a new camera set up. I did get this Suomi helmet recently. It's taken me a little while to get the audio video set up on here. But now we are good to go. So this is the first time out with the new lid with the GoPro 11. For those who have uh, paid attention to the channel for a while, thanks for being loyal and returning business. You may have recognized I used to have uh, my bell helmet kind of hooked up with all my video capture devices. So now we're testing out this uh, this new setup. I have to check the audio at some point because I have all of the vents open on this helmet. And there's a lot of wind coming through, so we'll see if that's uh, just picked up on the purple panda microphone. I did try to put a nice um, foam like wind filter on top of that uh, little fuzzy filter. I think they call it a dead cat. In the audio engineers and YouTube land, go ahead and drop a comment. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. So we'll see how that that does. Uh, so the combination of uh, the general wind flow and speed, this should be pretty much as loud as, well not as loud, but pretty loud. Um, so if my voice is coming through loud and clear, that is a plus. But yeah, this is uh, one of those moto vlogs where a little departure from my normal video content. Normally I have uh, a very specific topic, mostly around a modification to the Z900. But I'm getting to the point where I think I've done everything that needs to be done on this. So, for those who have been following, you know I've done a lot of cosmetic mods, a few performance mods like tires and sag setup, uh, ECU tune, things like that. My bar and mirrors have gone through a couple iterations. I uh, first had uh, got the real fancy uh, moto gadget glassless mirror which are really nice. But then uh, a company called Finrear reached out to me and sent me a pair of bar and mirrors told me to test them out. And I did, and I actually like them. I, I left them on. And uh, one of the reasons why I kept these on is the way I parked this motorcycle in the garage in between uh, two cars, the uh, Moto Gadget design kind of sticks out a bit and these give me a couple inches, you know, as much as much needed when I'm uh, pulling cars in and out of the garage. You don't have to worry about them hitting the, uh, the mirror that much. And uh, yeah, I like these design, I like the function. I kept these on. But yeah, for those who have been following along, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, is, is the, uh, the Z900 done? Should I call it a day with this? Not much more I can do to it. I mean, you can clearly hear that the exhaust has been upgraded. You know, I have full headers on this thing. That's something that I do regardless, even if this was a electric motorcycle. 
people put the wind noise alone and uh, try to do some damage to it. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear if uh, there are any opinions about what else may need to be done on this. The only real things that could be left are like steel braided brake lines and suspension. Uh, but I don't really touch this that much to the point where I feel like I need the suspension upgrade. I know I've been talking about this off and on ever since I got the bike. Um, so that, that might be one thing, you know, maybe a, a paycheck, free of shock. I'm just waiting for uh, M Design Motorsport to release uh, that Z Cup belly pan that they manufactured for that Z Cup series. I don't think they've had that race in a couple of years, so that's probably why uh, they haven't had availability. But I would like to add that that one uh, additional kind of cosmetic track day. I would like to, uh, to do. Other than that, I think this uh, bike is done. Yeah, so again, the first visit to the channel. Thanks for the visit. For all the routine return viewers, thanks for checking in. I'm trying to be a little bit more interactive with uh, YouTube world so anything that you would be interested in hearing about the Z900 drop it in the comments any potential future video modal vlog ideas suggestions let me know and I always uh, like to know where people are checking in from so Checking time, but you know where you're visiting from, where you're doing this video from.